Don't even ask me how, how did I watch this movie. You know me, usually I watch Oscar-nominated Best Picture films, or I'm watching big box office hits from Marvel or other franchises, and now I suddenly watched this. <sighs> yeah, anyway, hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to do a review of uh, the movie called The Spy Who Dumped Me. Originally, I was going to do A Quiet Place, but I haven't actually watched it. So, well, here we go. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to explain it to you. How on earth did I end up watching this movie? It wasn't my idea, actually. It was my cousin's idea. Yesterday, I and my cousin hang out, hung out. And uh, we decided to watch a movie. And I was like, hey, why don't we watch Mission Impossible 6? And he was like, uh, I watched that already. So we had no choice other than this. But, um, you know, it's not a terrible movie or anything. The spy who dumped me. Uh, but anyway, let's start off with the plot. So basically, we have Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon. And Mila Kunis is ex-boyfriend was actually a spy and then now they are wrapped up in a whole spy espionage terrorist mess it's a mess so yeah that's the plot it's fairly straightforward and simple to be honest and um you know the plot doesn't really surprise me or intrigue me that much because why should i care and um i'm not i'm not a huge fan of comedy as i am a huge fan of more seriously toned drama seriously toned drama but uh hey a little bit of comedy doesn't hurt so uh, anyway um it may seem to a lot of people that uh, kate mckinnon's character in this movie is an issue but to me kate mckinnon's character isn't really that bad even though uh, sh her character had annoyed me for a couple of moments in the movie, there were moments where it was obviously a terrible choice, but yet her character did it. And I don't know if her character is really that dumb. And I feel like Kate McKinnon is always being typecasted as some girl, some woman who is very goofy, idiotic, and dumb. And uh, I guess I kind of forgive her character a little bit because of that. But still, it doesn't take away the fact that her character is really kind of dumb and idiotic and interrupts good scenes for a lot of times. But anyway, I don't hate her character. It's okay. And uh, another thing about this movie is the comedy. And comedy plays a huge role in this movie because this movie is literally a comedy movie. But, however, um, comedy, sometimes the jokes doesn't don't land, sometimes they do. And it feels like when the movie is trying not to be funny, it is in the funniest. But when the movie is trying to be funny, it's not the funniest. I'm not going to spoil anything, but for instance, the scene where Kate McKinnon and Mila Kunis' characters were being chased after in a car... And they were freaking out, panicking. That scene just feels kind of whack. And that's it. It's not really that funny. But the scene where Kate McKinnon's character and Mila Kunis' character was in a more powerful position. Say, the scene where they confronted a, a, an FBI agent or a CIA agent. And uh, laughing at his uh, method of going to toilet, and uh, that, that scene really cracked me up. That's the funniest scene in the entire movie, in my opinion. And as for the action sequences, they're actually not bad, even though they're kind of released at, you know, at the same period of time Mission Impossible 6 is released, so clearly Mission Impossible 6 had way better action sequences than this movie has, but the actions, action sequences in this movie aren't that bad, even though they are a little bit cliche, a little bit predictable, I guess it also comes in all sorts of different forms, shapes, and sizes. And uh, 
you know, sometimes they bring comedy into the action sequences, and uh, sometimes it does land, but other times it doesn't. And, um, yeah, other than that, there is really not much to talk about in this movie. I don't really root for the characters all that much. The plot doesn't intrigue me all that much. It's, uh, it's funny, but not as funny as it should have been. It's clever, but it's never as clever as it should have been. And, uh, there is, like, a, a plot twist towards the end that's kind of crappy and predictable and... I don't really care for that at all. So, uh, it's just a very middle of the road, dime a dozen, average, generic movie. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't hate this movie, but it's not that great either. I'm saying The Spy Who Dumped Me is, um, meh. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a, um, yeah, you know what? This movie, it's kind of, it's gone. It's not even meh, it's, it's gone. It's, it's forgotten. It's forgetful. It's gone. Gone with the wind. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. So, yeah, I'm saying the spy who dumped me, uh, originally I was gonna say meh, but it's a really forgetful movie. Forgettable, not forgetful, forgettable. It's, it's sort of gone. It's gone with the wind, and I am... I'm feeling a, a decent to a strong 5 out of 10. So, have you watched this movie from 1 to 10? How much did you rate it? Like if you like it, hate if you hate it, and subscribe if you want more. And I promise you I will watch A Quiet Place and MI6 as soon as possible.